Welcome to Royal Secrets. As they stand by the princes of the Queen's lying in state, Kate and Meghan experience emotional difficulty. The Fab Four have been estranged since Meghan and Harry relocated to the US, but their reunion in mourning over the passing of the Queen was unexpected. At Westminster Hall, Meghan Markle and Kate, the Princess of Wales, were spotted together. The royal family is accompanying the Queen's coffin as it arrives at the hall for a brief service. Although William and Harry's relationships have apparently been strained, the passing of their grandmother seems to have improved things. Throughout the service, Kate has tearful moments, while Meghan maintains her composure. Since Meghan and Harry moved to the US, the two have not spoken to one another. Before the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's shocking departure from the royal family, the two couples were collectively referred to as the Fab Four. Their relationship seemed to be in even worse shape when Harry and Meghan arrived back in the UK on September 3. Between the spouses, trust was a significant issue, according to royal insiders. The Sussexes were staying at Frogmore Cottage, which is only a 15-minute walk from the home of Kate and William, but there were no preparations for them to visit them. The Queen's passing last week, however, seems to have brought William and Harry back together in their sorrow. Harry was invited to accompany William as he inspected floral offerings to Her Majesty at Windsor Castle. Scenes from the Queen's funeral today show their wives consoling one another over the passing of Elizabeth II. As the royal family marched to Westminster Hall, the Queen's coffin arrived. Along with Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward, King Charles III entered the queue. As the procession entered the Palace of Westminster through the gates, the crowd outside Parliament cheered. It came in as Psalm 139 was being sung by the choirs of Westminster Abbey and His Majesty's Chapel Royal in St. James Palace. Following the funeral, Her Majesty's coffin will spend four days lying in state in the hall, where visitors may stop by to express their condolences. The ceremony today is being officiated by the Archbishop of Canterbury. In contrast to the funeral for the Duke of Edinburgh, where their cousin Peter Phillips walked between them, William and Harry were side by side. Harry was in the middle, William was to his right, and Mr. Phillips was on his left as they proceeded in the second row of the procession. The funeral procession probably brought back painful memories of when they accompanied their mother Diana, Princess of Wales Casket, when they were only 15 and 12 years old. Harry, who served in the military for 10 years and made two trips to Afghanistan, unlike William, was not wearing a uniform because he is no longer a working royal. It remains to be seen whether their friendship will improve more permanently as a result of the Queen's passing. The installation of a statue of their mother, Princess Diana, at Kensington Palace, her old residence, and the funeral of Prince Philip, however, did not seem to succeed in this. Irrational, fears while Anne is out in the cold, Andrew is cast in a prominent part with King Charles III. The monarch appoints five councillors of state to act in his place when he is ill or temporarily absent from the country. There are worries that a procedural custom would provide Prince Andrew the opportunity to play a significant part in the nation while leaving Princess Anne out in the cold. A monarch in Britain selects five councillors of state to fill in for them when they are ill or away. According to procedures that were also in place throughout Queen Elizabeth II's rule, councillors of state comprised the monarch's spouse and the first four royals in line to the throne. According to Mr. Peston, these currently include the Duke of York and his daughter Princess Beatrice. As he tweeted, when he is ill or away from the UK, the monarch designates five councillors of state to act in his place. They are his spouse and the four people who will succeed him who are 21 or older. Mr. Peston's tweet has raised concerns that Andrew would stay in a position that some people would prefer Anne to hold.